scientists have recently conducted a groundbreaking quantum experiment that momentarily stretched a single particle of light, known as a photon, across an astonishing 37 dimensions. While this might sound like science fiction, the achievement is grounded in real laboratory work and offers profound insights into the strange underlying mechanics of our universe. The team's work sheds fresh light on foundational quantum paradoxes, pushing the envelope of what we thought possible for photonic particles and their place in the multiverse. Researchers unveiled how they manipulated laser-generated photons using a setup of finely tuned fiber optics and photonic circuitry to entangle and measure the photon across 37 distinct states or dimensions. The goal wasn't to conjure sci-fi multiverses, but to probe the core of quantum weirdness, specifically the GHZ paradox, a famous thought experiment designed to expose the non-classical nature of quantum systems. A photon is typically viewed as a single particle of light traversing three-dimensional space. However, quantum mechanics teaches us that particles can exist in far more complex state spaces than our everyday experience suggests. Researchers used a photonic processor, an integrated system of optical fibers, splitters and phase modulators to create what is effectively a 37-dimensional playground for a single photon. What the photon carries isn't physical clutter. Instead, each dimension corresponds to a distinct quantum configuration that can be simultaneously occupied, harnessed and manipulated. To make sense of this mind-bending feat, think of this musical metaphor. Imagine a single string on a violin producing multiple harmonics at once. Each harmonic is a different note, yet all emanate from the same string. Similarly, in this experiment, one photon enacted multiple notes or quantum states simultaneously in perfect harmony across 37 dimensions. These states are entangled and coherent, meaning that measurements in one dimension instantaneously affect outcomes in the others. But why does any of this matter? Quantum paradoxes, like the GHZ paradox, are mathematical puzzles that question whether the universe can truly be described by classical ideas of cause and effect. In the classical world, things behave predictably. If A led to B and B to C, then measuring A and C should reveal consistent information across all cases. Yet quantum theory often reveals inconsistencies. By tracking a photon through 37 dimensions, Scientists were able to amplify these quantum inconsistencies to their limits and demonstrate that quantum mechanics still holds true, even within highly complex multidimensional systems. This experiment achieves more than just theoretical validation. It lays the groundwork for next-generation technologies and computing. Quantum information systems, such as quantum cryptography and high-dimensional entanglement networks, can use this complexity to achieve more secure communication and pack even more information into each photon. Each added dimension gives the same particle the capacity to hold more information, kind of like fitting more data into a single message without making the message any bigger. However, amid the excitement, a note of caution emerged from the scientific community. Some have pointed out that 37 dimensions may be a misleading shorthand. What's really happening is that the experiment allowed engineers to work within a 37-dimensional quantum state space. The photon isn't literally leaping into hidden spatial multidimensional realms. Regardless, this distinction doesn't diminish the achievement. Managing and controlling superposition and entanglement in such a high-dimensional platform is no small feat. This leap demonstrates how quantum systems continue to defy our classical intuitions. Einstein himself resisted such ideas, famously calling quantum entanglement spooky action at a distance. But with each experiment, especially those with this level of complexity, quantum theory gains yet more experimental validation. We're not just guessing about superpositions, we can now count them, control them, and use them. Looking ahead, many questions remain. Can this be scaled to hundreds or even thousands of dimensions? What real-world breakthroughs might we see once quantum systems can easily operate across so many dimensions? Is it possible to someday use similar principles 
to probe the properties of the universe itself, or to build and develop quantum computers capable of solving problems that are impossible for computers today. Creating a photon that exists in 37 quantum dimensions isn't just a neat party trick. It shows how quickly physics is advancing into the incredibly complex and abstract territory of the quantum realm at a pace very few thought possible. It reminds us that the universe is woven from layers of reality, far stranger and richer than what we can perceive with our senses. As scientists explore and peer deeper into our universe, it's becoming clear that the everyday world we see, hear, smell, taste and touch is only a small piece of what reality may actually be. Amazing things are unfolding in the strange and tiny world of quantum physics, discoveries that could one day directly shape the way we live. Give us your comments on what you think. I'd like to thank you for joining us and I invite you back for our next episode